Number one, tip number one, breathe through the nose. <sighs> Hello everyone, tis I, Luke Mungo, and this is my first book, Breath Awareness Tips and Tidbits. I'm going to be going over the 10 tips and the 10 tidbits in these videos here. The first tip is breathe through your nose. <clears throat> so, if you are a conscious being, if you're doing the healing work, if you haven't stumbled across breath work or breathing yet, it's very important to breathe through your nose. There's a lot of benefits to breathing through our nose and breathing through the mouth has a lot of detriments. We can create a lot of ni nitric oxide in the nose. Nitric oxide is pretty much one of the most beneficial molecules in our body. It improves our sleep and our digestion and all our operation of all our organs and glands and all the systems in our body. We can also increase it more by humming and breathing through our nose. Breathing through our mouth, you can, you can feel it. You can feel the dryness. But this, it's a lot better, I find. I find every single moment is an opportunity to breathe in through my nose, feel relaxed. Feel more, this much, tiny bit more relaxed, if anything, if I'm consciously breathing in through my nose. And if I'm making an effort to breathe in through my nose, then I know that I'm being present with myself, being present with what's in front of me. And I'm contributing to my health rather than taking away from it. If you're asleep and you wake up and your mouth is dry and you, you have to go to the bathroom or you feel anxious, it's because you're breathing through your mouth when you sleep. I've also noticed my dreams can be more stressful. Um, you can tape your mouth and keep your mouth closed so that you start to breathe through your nose. And I find that these days I'm able to just breathe through my nose while I'm sleeping and yeah, things are better. So I invite y'all to join me. Just breathe in through your nose. And for me lately, I've liked to breathe out through my mouth. Apparently breathing out through our nose keeps the heat in our bodies more. So it is cold out here in Chicago. So it's also a better way to keep the warmth in. I also like to smell essential oils. And if I'm smelling an essential oil, it's better to breathe out through the mouth because the, the molecules are in your nose. So again, with nitric oxide, I'm not entirely sure. Maybe I could look it up again, remind myself um, if that makes a difference, breathing out through the nose or the mouth and keeping that, those molecules in your nose. But this to me is the number one thing that we should all be doing as human beings. If you are interested in being an effective human being, is to focus on your breathing and then have that be the basis for every other single thing that you do. Every bite of food that you eat, every step that you take where you're walking, every breath you take is influencing your now moments. And it affects our health, affects our presence, affects everything. So. That's tip number one, breathe through the nose. I hope you take it on, I hope you do it. I hope you check out this book. If you want a physical copy, let me know. Uh, I can get you one, that's gonna cost you. Uh, or you can click the link below or in my bio, wherever I post this, there will be a write up on Google Docs. And uh, feel free to donate however much value you, you find out of what is contained in this little write-up. This is only about 20 pages. I have an about me on here. 
And I got some other things you can check out. Some QR codes, some other things that I'm up to. Find me on Instagram and on YouTube. Uh, you can donate financially, a dollar, twenty dollars, or uh, whatever you feel. And the other projects I'm up to is Rainbow Bridge with Zero Point Frequencies and the Rainbow Bridge Academy. All the cool things and the collaborative soul family work that I'm out here doing. Go check it out. And breathe your nose while you're doing it. Make it a habit. All right, y'all. Peace you. Thank you.